We're about to get into Shogun Season 1, Episode 6. Very excited to come back into this show with you guys. Thanks so much for returning. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Azuchi Castle 22 years ago. Oh, okay. flashback. Okay. Oh. Is this her as a youngster, perhaps? Yeah, most likely. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you take guesses, you don't know. Sometimes you mess up. Oh. Interesting. Uh oh. So I'm guessing this is kind of like House of the Dragon in a way, huh? They started as friends? Maybe. Oh lord. They're just learning a lot just by watching. Oh my god. Goodness. Such rage. Why? Oh. Yeah, she can't unsee that. She yeah, just, she saw that. It's in You're there now. You're only dreaming. It's a nightmare, oh. sir. It's a nightmare. That's that's in her uh, rote memory now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I find this so fascinating. Like, it's so cool. Nice. Uh-oh. Hello? Back when he had hair. Hmm. <laughs> the traditional meaning of marriage, alliances. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's rough. Yeah, with so little control you have. Mariko. I imagined her father being younger when that whole overthrowing thing came. Yeah. I didn't think of him as this older guy. I don't imagine we're going to get to see that whole thing unfold. No. But it would have been cool and epic to watch. Although I wouldn't want to see the part where he's got to like murder his family. Yeah, that would suck. That would be happening quite soon after she got married. Well, I, yeah. I, so maybe, maybe that's why. Because she is his most cherished daughter. Mm-hmm that he protected her through marriage. I don't know, maybe he didn't think that far. No, I would imagine he was thinking that far and he was protecting her, like you just said, but who knows, you know? I don't know if he realized, because the show hasn't indicated it, if he knew he was gonna have to take out his whole family as a punishment. That was after the earthquake. Mm. I guess that's an interesting and comforting way of looking at it. That's how you have to look at it, I think. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what are we getting? Giving him props. Giving him props. Wow. Uh oh. He has decided to grant you a fief that will provide. That's crazy. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds like a lot. Yeah. You got six hundred cuckoos now. Jokes. Made you his chief admiral and general of the cannon regiment. Oh boy. Wow. That's a big, big honor, especially being a foreigner. Yeah. But does he appreciate it? And now we clean up. 
I love how Japanese people cheer. I know, it's great. Uh-huh. He seems chill about this. It's so <laughs> surprising. Yeah, he might help you out. <laughs> oh, shoot. What? We're getting ready to die. His character is so hard to read sometimes. Oh, the like, guy in the back? Barbar no, the Bantaro. Or not Bantaro. Um, the one who almost spookled himself in the water the, in episode one. Yeah. Yeah, Yabushige. He's hard to read. Yeah. Facts. Absolutely. Mm hmm. Don't offer seppuku. We need you. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're too skilled. You're a big fat jerk, but we need you. <gasps> we can divorce? Why, Why not? The marriage is the only thing keeping her alive. Uh huh. Uh oh. Hmm. I want to feel bad for you, but you put your hands on her. <laughs> yeah. Like, dude. Ooh. Seven days of getting it on. Getting it on? Between, the, between them two. And oh, the <laughs> okay. I was like, it's just him and his hand. No. Well, yeah, exactly, but... Oh. I like the little twitch there. I'll have to draw some hentai in the sand. They didn't have any comics back then. He asks if you refuse them. It's not a matter of refusing. I've already explained this to him before. I'm unable to serve him in the way he wishes me to. So I wish to leave. I gotta go. I gotta <laughs> bounce. My knees hurt. <laughs> Just do me this solid, my guy, and then you can go. How about that? <laughs> if I were to remain in the Japans, I would formally ask again for the return of my ship. Mm. So that I may sail against his enemies and mine. Oh. The Portuguese. Okay. So oh. Oh. I wondered if she was going to translate that. As his chief admiral, there are still ways I can disrupt his enemies. For example, I could attack the Portuguese black ship at sea. Antagonize. Harming trade to the ports controlled by his Catholic rivals on the council. Mm. I'm told their names are Kiyama and Ono. Thus stifling the flow of Portuguese Catholic wealth and its accompanying power, which wow. will ultimately be brandished against him. That would be a great help. Yeah. That'd be yeah, yeah, yeah. Service. This is not in our Lord's interest. Oh, what? I'm sorry, were you going to translate? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to save yeah. you some time. Mariko. Like, I already know, I'm ten steps ahead. <laughs> no, he's interested. Uh, he says that the Portuguese are a friendly nation, for and now. he would never attack their vessel. Never. The Portuguese are neither here for the good of Japan nor Toro Nagasama. They are here to gain. Why do you cling to this? <laughs> Your job is to interpret. Portugal is friendly only to their profits. A lot of unresolved stuff going on here. I know. Oh, shit. That is all for now. I have spoken. Yeah. This is the way. This is the way. Oh. Oh, is someone in trouble? Or are we having a powwow? Did y'all do the so deed? <laughs> Sharp as a katana that has been freshly oiled. <laughs> yeah, figure it out. Your husband's gone for a week. Mm. 
あれの頭が冷えるよう、oh. 一晩茶屋で遊ばせる全裸を頼む。Dang. He does not want a brothel. He wants her. Yeah. Aren't you sharp enough to see that, my guy? Oh, shit. What does that mean? <gasps> Join him? What? As a tra- oh my god, that is too hot. Wow. Can you imagine? What? She's gonna have to translate the dirty talk? Oh my god. I w- This is crazy. I've never fantasized about such a thing, but that sounds amazing. <laughs> Watch what happens is he actually wants Mariko instead, and the other lady's there for translating him and Mariko. <laughs> Although they, he wouldn't need that now that I think about it. Whoops. Oh, shit. Yeah, guys. GTFO. Oh, come on. Oh, God, this is going to be bad. This is a hairy situation. Yeah, she's in no state to ride a horse. Oh, my God. Woo! Whoa! Get going. I don't know what that guy thought he was doing trying to. <laughs> he did not have the high ground. We all saw Star Wars Episode 3. <laughs> It's even worse than we thought. What has happened, d e m o n i t e o z a k a Castle has been locked down. Ishido claims there is a plot to kill the heir. And he sort of. <laughs> Get out of my face. And sentenced Turanaga to death. This is her doing.、Mm. Lady Ochiba? Yes. This campaign to eliminate Turanaga it has accelerated since her return. That woman has no such power. Oh, don't underestimate,、uh, underestimate a woman. Here we go. <laughs> don't underestimate. Don't underestimate a woman. <laughs> I think the time has come for us to turn towards Toranaga as an ally. Whoa. Let us pray that we can bring him to our side when this is done. I think you need to do more than pray at this point, but you do you. <laughs> you do you, boo boo. <laughs> She's just kind of. Freaky because she's always smiling. It's like, what is going on in your head, lady? Flashback again? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Like, what changed? Well, something went down while they were apart. Yeah, while they were apart. <laughs> Oh. oh, now it all makes sense. That's why all the tension. Okay, gotcha. Okay, yeah. So she probably wants Mariko to be executed. Oh, shit.、That's、and then、confusing. she marries the Taiko、yeah. and is in a position of power again. That's wild. The drama. God, it's so juicy. Dang.、Wow. <laughs> Did you connect that earlier? That no, I, I, I didn't. I, I'm a dummy. No, we're both dummies. <laughs> I think that was designed to be a surprise for all of us. Oh. Oh, he cut him. So this is like a samurai this is, film. This is all we're going to get of the reenactment. Oh, gotcha. What it all was. What does that mean? Toranaga no Kyo Iga no Narma de no Kotoyo, Shito Sama Hitojitio Kaigo Suratisha. Whatever, Kore Karamo. Yeah, I hino moto was a mere Yomu Sueja. Oh, she's listening. Yeah, I think so. Taiko Samo Kinidi no Kosho to Marino Tsua, Kosaiwa Kito no Taise was sent, Sonata wa Teo Kumu Aite o Machigo de Ur. Oh, okay. Why does this feel so ominous?、Mm. What a way to put it. Okay. Wow.
What if the sun is not even really the Tycho sun? Hmm. Oh, God. Oy, oy, oy. Just think of London. Yeah. It'll be okay. Hide behind your eightfold fence. It's fascinating how the dramatic depictions work afterwards. Yeah. History is written by the victors. So humble, so humble. Yeah, it's a nice thing to say. Ah, that's why he's so ambitious. Oh. Oh, this is wild. This is so crazy. Oh. Oh, wow, she's playing him. Huh? Yeah, she understands that to the play all the men. Oh, this guy's exhausted. He's oh pooped. My God. <laughs> that is a meme. <laughs> Instant meme. Is he okay? After Just... the end of a work day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but they can twist anything. What's that? Sounds like war. That sounds red blood. Ominous. Oh, blitz. Oh, wow. Okay. Seems like there isn't time. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, boy, you need to calm down. That's what will make you a great shogun, though. Figure it out, people. It's like Dune Part 2. <laughs> 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 oh, so it's going to be triple the price. Oh. What are we talking? What are we talking? Oh, it's expensive. What? That. Wow. One. Okay. Fifth? This is called negotiating. <laughs> 200. I would have thought 50%. She went a fifth. Oh. <laughs> you just choke on your teeth? Oh, shit. No, snap, snap. snap. It costs extra. <laughs> Fuji's like, oh, quietly drink my tea. As they spill the tea? Yeah. We're spending a lot of time on this. Do you think he's going to do it? Maybe. He wasn't interested in Fuji. No. But she's going to be there. So he might be like, fine, I'll go. And then he'll get into it. Oh, we're back to this lady. Yeah. She is yeah. the A plus courtesan. But I love you. Why are you doing this to me, boy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you fell in love with a courtesan. Like, what do you expect? She's just working. Can't turn her into a housewife. Does her not get about about? About you and me. There is nothing to know. Yeah, nothing <laughs> happened, dude. Agree to disagree. <laughs> I feel like there's something to know. I felt it. I think about it every day, five times a day. Gin's tea house is famed for its many wonders, but we must be careful. Our every gesture is being observed. Yes, she's smart. <laughs> oh boy, he's about to have his mind blown. <laughs> I wonder if she's going to be jealous. She's going to come in. She's got go. feelings. So gorgeous with her makeup and everything. It's so common in TV shows for people to just not admit their feelings and keep it buried behind the eightfold fence. 
It is fitting to share your reaction. Tell her she is beautiful. Sonata wa utsukushi. But what if he's like, you're not as hot as this lady right here. Tr go, <laughs> translate, translate, quick, come on. It does feel like we're being watched. Uh, yeah. We must try our best to find this as pleasurable as possible. Yeah, some no, acting is required. By not making a scene. Chill, man. So in order to keep their cover, he has to sleep with her? Yeah, I think so. But he's not the kind of guy to conform. Maybe he can just be like, listen, my fetish is I would like to have my foot tickled with a feather. <coughs> That's it. Compliment the way she poured your sake. It is considered a rare art. Or it sounds like you could only study it for years. Wow. You pour very well. <laughs> she assumes it is different from where you're from. Mm -hmm. Where I come from are prostitutes. And neither this well presented nor as inquisitive. <laughs> what? That's not what he said at all. He can't call her a prostitute. This lady is another level up. Uh, I would say multiple levels yeah. up. Yeah. Oh. What are you trying to say? She knows what's up. She wishes to explain to you the meaning of the willow world. Um, does sure, he, does go he ahead. Care? Yeah. Does he really want to know? <laughs> He's just confused. Uh -huh. Most come here to escape from boredom or pain, hardship or disappointment. They believe this place is about physical pleasure. It's interesting how she positioned herself like that. Yeah. To speak through her. Yeah. I offer you relief from this. She said I. She's speaking as her. I ask you into my openness. I ask mm. you. What a way to phrase it. Yeah. Oh my god. What? What? She invites you away with her now. No, 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 no. I disagree. Oh, come on. All right, Anjin. Yeah, yeah. You got to take one for the team. Take one for the team, bro. Seven days. Come on. <laughs> oh, so much respect. Yeah. He just spent the night with the most coveted courtesan in the city. This is the part about the culture that Please tell I, Lady Kiku, I I, it, it confuses me a little bit. She is honored. <laughs> Don't come again. <laughs> she cut that short. I didn't even process that until you said that. <laughs> She's like, bitch, be gone. You had your fill. <laughs> we paid you 300. <laughs> like, leave him alone. I paid the heart tax. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. I keep thinking he's going to be like a step ahead. Mm, different times. Yeah, she's a different person now. Oh. Okay, speak frankly. Let's go. But a woman? Oh, that's an interesting way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to find out why he did what he did? He was protecting you. It's like you said. It's like you said. Right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, because he loved her. Oh. Mariko, you've been given purpose now. Don't end your life. How does that work? Oh no. What can she do though? Yeah. Mariko, Sonata no Ikusawa. 
Mm-hmm. It's only just begun. What is the strategy to like reconnect with her old friend and hope that? No, that's. I don't think that's gonna work. Go is the hope that they can manipulate this actor? Mm-hmm. 100%. Uh-oh. Wow. <laughs> it's like, yo, we had this in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, well, that's surprising. Yeah, that's ballsy. Oh, here we go. Okay. Some insight. Oh, she blames Taranaga. <laughs> she motivating him by putting him down like that? Oh. I saw the play. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Okay. No, I think you're onto something. If that is the case, she can't ever say she can't divulge that, that it's someone else's child. She's, she's like a witch. Yeah, it, there really is this sort of like sorcery magical uh. feel to it. Like, yeah, sorcery. Okay, what now? Oh, I feel like blood is about to be spilled here. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. Bandits. They didn't kill him quickly. They tortured him. Did you yeah. see that? His hand? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's war. Wow. Half brother, though. It's a half brother. Yeah, still brother. But we we don't know the relationship. Oh. Oh wow. Wow. Right at dawn. Let's go. Yeah. Here I am thinking it's just like a little group of them. It's like the whole village. This is a very interesting episode. Not one battle was really seen in this entire episode. Right, but they were um, battling. But they were battling. <laughs> yeah. All kinds of battles, as uh, was made clear by Mariko, how she said women are always at war. Yeah. There's a lot to unpack there, and they didn't even really bother to explain what she meant by that, but I feel like there's so much you can deduce on your own. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? It can be like just being a woman existing in life is war. Or, or in that era, particularly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When you don't have control over a lot of things that, that happen to you, but also also, maybe it's just like women are at war just cause. Like, there's no reason. Mm -hmm. We just do. <laughs> you know? Sure. However you want to interpret it, I suppose. All that dialogue of negotiation leading up to the scene with the geishas, mm -hmm. I was like, there's no way this is going to, there's going to be this much emphasis placed on the negotiation for them to just pull the rug and him, him be like, yeah, I'm, I don't want this. And that's that. There had to be some kind of consequence. Either he says no, and then there's ramifications for no, or he goes through with it, and the ramifications are internal for those characters having to deal with it and suffer through those moments. Right. And it's like, it's a great honor. He shouldn't refuse it. It, it would be a bad look overall. And so, obviously, he has to go through with it. I think he's finally understanding that there are certain things, like cultural norms and stuff like that, that he just has to kind of accept and, and go through with. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, I mean... 
mean, out of all the things that you have to do, that I you think you have to suffer for. Yeah, like <laughs> I think sleeping with a beautiful woman who is highly trained and highly skilled in pleasure is probably like not the worst thing. <laughs> that you could ever do, you know? It would be uncomfortable for me. <laughs> <laughs> They're so, so well-trained yeah. that they would know exactly what to do to make you feel comfortable. Probably. You know? That's right, yeah, that's, probably, that's entirely, yeah, that's like, true. Yeah. If, if she spent years learning how to pour sake, yeah. how many years did she spend learning all the thousand different ways the that you tricks. can pleasure a man? Yeah. And like, we already saw her in episode one and just how insightful she is. Yeah, she was quick, She's yeah. Quick, she knew exactly what, like, Yobushige, what would turn him on. And in this instance, she knew exactly what was going on between Mariko and... Right. It, ma it made me wonder if she was twisting the knife a little bit. If she mm -hmm. was at all, like, just being a little bit malicious in that moment, taking advantage of the situation for some reason. I don't know why she would do that. If she knows how they feel about each other... I don't know. It just seemed like there was a little bit of manipulation in there. I just couldn't quite figure yeah, out why. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, she did offer Marco to come in the room with them, you know? Yeah, but she probably knew... She's playing 4D chess. I'm, I'm sure she knew that Mariko was going to say no. Uh, yeah, maybe. It was really nicely done the way you said, like you noticed that the way she positioned herself so she was kind of hidden behind Mariko so that eventually it felt like it was Mariko herself speaking to Blackthorn. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really cool how they showed her flat, like a flashback to her memories, all of that trauma and stuff. And it's like, she's vulnerable, you know, and right. he sees her. He sees, and, yeah. And that's scary. Right. And so she's right. like, no, it's too much. I can't handle. Well, I mean, she was forcibly put into a situation where she had to, you know, make herself vulnerable to him. Yeah. Because she talked about, she talked about her past that she's tried to like kind of bury. Yeah. He not only sees her, he accepts her and he wants her. Exactly. Right? Versus her husband who's just, but like they. He's complicated too, though. They explained his position as well. You know, he's like, I did what I thought would have made her happy. I thought she would have been grateful, but instead she's just ice. Yeah. And she just asks for a swift death. And I'm like, yo, I get your perspective. It's just, I. it's so hard to feel empathy though, given what you did. And like, I get it. I get the frustration. Yeah. But you, what you did was so so awful that you, you beat her up yeah exactly yeah. it's just like that's gross yeah anyway. but i do i really love all of the acting that we're seeing in this episode like with bontaro and all of the different emotions that flash across his face or across all of the actors faces in fact and and i just love how restrained it all is because it feels really true to the culture where it's like you see the things and as audience we're out here just trying to interpret what they're not saying and just trying to read the expressions on their face so for him for Buntaro I was just kind of like maybe he does really love her in his own way but there's also anger there there's also resentment there's like all sorts of different feelings I just really appreciate the acting and also yeah. especially with uh, Lady Ochiba and Mariko as well like they're both so good at that like really calm face but with Lady Ochiba I feel so much simmering rage the anger yeah. that's like underlying yeah. Yeah. every single flutter of her eyelids I'm like ugh, this lady's scary <laughs> yeah she does a good job of like having some kind of layered emotional thing going on that's yeah. like coming through in each statement she makes even when they were just talking to the actor who played her the yeah. her husband i'm just like this is wild like i when he said something about like she said something something about his height yeah i don't know why if, if maybe it's just because i'm used to like american shows like uh, like game of thrones or something like i was ready for her to cut him I didn't anticipate that he was then going to be asked to be part of the council. Yeah. That was the last thing I expected. And then it made sense because like they're, they're thinking they can just manipulate him. There was the follow up to that scene, though, with the exchange in the with, in the forest where they killed the, the former council member mm -hmm. where they were going to impeach. The way they handled that was fascinating because they didn't show you the violence. They showed you the aftermath and it was sufficient. Yeah. There was that push in shot on the, on him while he's on the ground and you see his hand and it's like chopped up to the bone. Which says to me, like, that was a slow, slow death. They tortured him because it could have easily been just decapitation or something. Yeah, um, I was wondering about that, though, because I'm like, okay, why did they choose to 
what was it this part of yes. the hand yeah like is there something distinctive Some about that missing. that that they could bring that to whoever oh that's entirely show, and th just be like hey we killed him yeah that's FYI. possible that's possible like i'm just, like thinking back to my memory of black rain that's totally different but in what the, is black rain it's a michael douglas movie that takes place in japan it's about the uh, yakuza oh and as part of like a punishment i think it's these fingers i can't, I, I can't it's been a long time since i've watched it but there is a, a tradition with dishonor you're you you have to chop off your own fingers at least oh. like two of them or something like that to show that you've atoned for your 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 sin or your well, offense he died well yeah exactly <laughs> it's <laughs> it's like, much worse. you atoned with your death yeah whatever the case is like i thought that that was a cool way to present that information because it was just very efficient you very know? very efficient like you just cut to the overhead shot as it's like kind of the camera's moving over all the bodies and you're like jesus this you can imagine how horrifying that, that scene was without actually showing it. Right? Yeah, no, that was really great. I mean, the drama as well is just top tier. Yeah. <laughs> it's like every twist and turn in this show, especially the reveal when it's like, oh my gosh, Mariko's friend, like her best friend when they were little is Lady Ochiba now. And Mariko's father killed her father. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my gosh, what a crazy reveal. Yeah. You know, it's just it does, wild. It does feel a little bit like House of the Dragon to a certain degree. Apparently, I, know, I know this predates it. I know this no, predates it. No, no, but it. apparently this, this inspired George R. R. Martin. Oh, okay, that makes sense. For uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. Apparently Lady Ochiba is an inspiration for Cersei. Well, Toronaga, he, he's got me so curious because I never know what he actually knows because he seems so sharp and like three steps ahead of everybody else. Uh -huh. But then he'll say something and I'm like, okay, so he doesn't actually know that part. You know, like I thought he was going to say something that indicated his his knowledge and understanding that Mariko is actually interested in um, uh, Blackthorn. Yeah. But he made he didn't say anything about it. I'm like, oh, I can't tell if he's holding out or it's like maybe it's just out of being polite that's like true you don't talk about that yeah it is interesting though hearing <laughs> about the divorce thing because i was like wait that's an option but then i don't even know if mariko would do that because she's catholic that is very true i didn't even consider that that is a very real thing yeah that's a true that's a true true Ain't no blade can protect you from the true truth that's, she, a, that's a true she's, fact she's a catholic in the 1600s yeah. it's like in in today's day and age catholics are out there having divorces left right and center uh, but it depends you, well, like, yeah, yeah. i mean I, I know my fair share but uh well obviously the way we treat marriage these days is very different from how it was back then but no but you're right like that that is a, a real thing and i didn't consider that that could factor into that conversation so but she it, the, the fact of the matter is it hasn't been brought to her attention that that's an option or a possibility uh yet i mean it could come up in the next episodes but but like i don't even think she would have the power to divorce her husband you know what i mean it's like your husband could divorce you Right. All I'm saying is it it hasn't been that information hasn't been put in front of her yet. So we don't know how she would react. Right. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, but it's an interesting thing to I mean, they mentioned it. So who knows if it stops there or it'll come back. Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for hanging with us. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.